So what can you tell us about the preparations for the elections in Afghanistan? Yes, uh, very good question. Preparation, we already published the schedule for the election. Based on the schedule that we already published three months back, we are on track. The, the candidate nomination is already completed. Then the campaign is started. Now we are in the second phase of the campaign and also the logistical pr uh, preparation is completed. We already send it, send it all the non-sensitive material to the provinces. This non-sensitive material is uh, table, chairs, tent and also water screen, ballot box. These are the non-sensitive material that we already send it to the provinces. It's already completed. But on regard to the sensitive material, which is ballot paper, ballot paper, and also this uh, polling station kit, uh, indelible inks, a stamp, and this kind of things, we will uh, we will start sending from the second week of August to the provincial uh, offices. Then from provincial offices, it will goes to the polling center and polling station three days before the election, period to the election. In some area, two days period to the election. In some area, one days. It depends on the distance eh, between the polling center and the provincial offices. How confident are you that the elections will be able to take place in a safe, secure and transparent environment? I'm, I'm very confident, I'm optimistic because the people of Afghanistan is supporting the process. That's why I'm, I'm optimistic. And, and it, uh, one of the best indicator for the support of the people, we already completed voter registration throughout the country without any single incidents. And people supported this process. Now, in regard to our preparation, our preparation is going very well with the support of the people of Afghanistan. And also through the public outreach activity, we already explained to the people of Afghanistan the importance of election and also uh, the people supported this uh, process that's why I'm optimistic that it, the election will be conducted on a on a very peaceful manner on uh, 20 August what role do you see for the EU observer mission it's very important I think uh, observation of the election is really support the transparency of the election we appreciate we appreciate the effort of uh, uh, EU observation and we already sent it, I think, long time back, uh, invitation to the EU and, and, and it's, we are very happy that EU accepted this invitation. Now their team is here and I hope that this uh, uh, team play a very important role, especially in the transparency of the election in the country. Okay. Is there anything else that people in Europe should know about the elections? Yes. One one thing I would like to uh, tell through your uh, uh, the media uh, that, uh, to be honest, there is uh, something which is published on the media. It's not the reality which is uh, practically in Afghanistan, because uh, on the election, one issue is that the people supporting the issue. My my uh, opinion is that election itself also supporting the security. Why I am telling that? Because the people supporting the electoral process and people think that the only peaceful way and democratic process that they can make change, they can bring changes, election. That's why the people of Afghanistan is supporting the, uh, the, 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 the election. And I, I want to reassure to the international community, to the EU, to everyone, uh, that uh, uh, the election will be, uh, will be held on a peaceful manner and the people of Afghanistan supporting the process and people of Afghanistan supporting every democratic process. One of the democratic processes is election. A strange question, maybe, uh, yes. for an outsider, yes. but uh, some people are saying, well, we don't expect uh, Taliban attacks on polling stations. Uh, we, we don't expect attacks on polling stations because yes. there was so much support for this electoral process. Why, why, why the Taliban don't support, uh, attack on the polling station? Because one, one issue is very clear. If the Taliban not have uh, supporter among the people, they could not do anything, uh, any activity. During the voter registration, it appears the Taliban wanted to disturb the process, but the people of Afghanistan has proven that they did not allow the Taliban to disturb the process. That's why if the Taliban don't support the election, it's meaning that the people is not allowing, did not allowing Taliban to support the process, to, to disturb the process. People is supporting the process. Okay, so in a very strange way, maybe the elections could uh, support the Taliban. Yes, yes. We, we announce if the Taliban want to be a part of the process. We are ready. We are ready to distribute voter registration code and the Taliban should come and, and participate on this democratic electoral process if they want to have 
uh, follower amongst the people of Afghanistan, the only thing is that, that they should accept the constitution of Afghanistan, they should accept the constitution process, the, the, the democratic process, and the and election is one of the democratic processes. They should come and participate if they have the support of the, uh, of the people of Afghanistan. But uh, with attacking on the polling station, they could not do anything. They only disturb the process. They are, if they are support, have the uh, um, support amongst the people of Afghanistan, they should come and take part. Uh, have you had a formal reaction, a formal response from the Taliban no, to, you, to your invitation? No, 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 no. There, there, there is no formal reaction and also not negative, not positive. Taliban is quiet. I don't know. Okay, thank you very much <laughs> and good luck. Yeah.